So let's begin with a quick introduction where you can uh, summarize about yourself and your skill set and work experience and then we can get into details. Sure, sure. So my name is Akshay. I have completed my bachelor's in electronics and telecommunications engineering in 2015 and I have mm -hmm. overall five years of experience. So the initial one and a half year I worked in the telecom and networking domain where I used to fix the network related issues and interact with the end customers or consumers on day to day basis. And later mm -hmm. on I started learning the Microsoft Excel and the Tableau tool for the reporting purpose. So based on that, I got opportunity to work as a data analyst in the sensor technology. So here okay. I currently work with the you know different finance teams, stakeholders, and the sales team to fix the uh, data related issues. Data, data related issue in the sense they run the some sort of enterprise agreement with their in customers. So in every quarter they propose a new offer to their in customer to get them a good hold for a long time. So if they face mm. any issues within the data of the historic purchase of the customer, then they do come with, I mean, they raise a query with us, like uh, we have some customers uh, mm. and we need some relevant data to you know, per do the purchase adjustment or to initiate the credits in ad hoc report or, you know, in invoice. So I consolidate the, all the requirement. I first understand what they are looking for. And mm. based on that, I write, a uh, SQL query to retrieve the relevant data from the server and based on that I prepare one ad hoc report where they can see the customer's historic purchase and if they are purchasing or if they are you know, opting out for the new offer then how much credit they are going to get or how much purchase adjustment is going to happen into the new agreement. So that kind of analysis I do and uh, if they have certain... So this is in financial domain? Exactly. It is in financial. Okay. So if they have any discrepancy or you know, dispute or exception on existing ad hoc report. So I work mm. with the finance team respect to BU finance team for the approval. And if they approve me, then I do the necessary changes into the ad hoc report so that they can carry it forward. And on the top of it, once the order is booked, then I prepared one uh, scratch like extracted version of Tableau dashboard where they can see the actual consumption and the historic purchase what they have. So that whenever hmm. they, they deploy the licenses into the server or when, after deployment, they can actually track their day to day consumption. And even if they have any further discrepancy into <coughs> dashboard itself. So I do validate that also with the help of pre sales and post sales data. And I you know just share the business knowledge and resolve their queries, something like that. I do. Okay. And what about Tableau? So, do you work on Tableau as well or you yeah. just use the Tableau report? I use Tableau report also and I had worked on Tableau also. Okay, alright. Uh, now, what is the kind of data sources that you link? Is it all in one database? Yeah. You only use SQL for the reporting purpose? Exactly. So, currently, we as per the project requirement, I am using the SQL only. But uh, okay. I, as a part of learning, I learned Python and R, but I don't have the practical exposure on that scripts. Okay, all right. So now if you have to design a report for a retail client, so you have mostly worked with financial data, right? So the KPIs yeah. that you use, the yeah. data that is available might be different. Yeah. So if you have to design a report for senior executive level for a retail client, Mm -hmm. uh, by retail client, I mean a client who is selling their products, say, like clothes or footwear mm -hmm. to end customers like us. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> so for such a client, if their um, executive and board members are asking you to create a report to understand the sales performance, what would be, what would that report look like? What all KPIs will you include? What all trend, trends would you include? Which data will you include in that yeah so first of all i will try to understand the domain like what is the direction of the business and based on that i will try to retrieve the relevant data like based on the historic purchase or historical sales or last performance quarter by quarter like like what was the total sales happened in <clears throat> last two quarters and what are the changes has been made 
and what was what is the uh, result like uh, how much it impacted the to the next quarter results like that kind of statistical analysis i will try to do in scratch and i will try to mm. show that in analysis is different right because yeah thing that you will include in say a live tableau dashboard yeah yeah so if you have to build tableau dashboard for sales performance which will give say the current sales performance so in that what all will you include so you said quarter on quarter so maybe yeah. not in, because if you're looking at the report as of today today's quarter is not complete it's yeah. half right yeah. so maybe quarter to date is what you can consider yeah quarter to today's date or what your orders has been closed i will consider that data and uh, Based on that, I will categorize what are the different products are there, how much mm-hmm. the products had been sold, mm-hmm. and what is the total profit has been made out of that sales. And uh, based on the business logic, I will try to implement. I'll try to make it as interactive as possible. Like I'll try to create a trend line to showcase yeah. the. Yeah. So profit. you mentioned product category. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, trend line to show. to show the total sales versus profit like how much sales happen and how much was the total profit out of it and uh, we hmm. i will try to forecast this for the next quarter if something like this is keep happening then how much result we can expect in the next quarter or uh, hmm. if the management have certain improvement like plan of certain improvements into the of existing offers then how that could impact to the upcoming sales or how we can make more profit out of it like that i will try to showcase mm. and uh, okay. also i will try to highlight like different categories of products like which products are you know, mostly in demand and which are not so i will at least mm. try to recommend which are not in demand i will try to include that particular products into the new enterprise or new agreement where customer can get additional benefit out of it and eventually the sales will happen for the products which are not popular and mm. it may come in next quarter or no we can predict it like if it is not that popular then how much it is uh, how much is working into the next quarters if you are offering to the customers or something like that i will try to mm. you know, showcase mm. product category is one dimension that you mentioned that that can be a very important uh, factor yeah what other dimensions can we include so I'll the dimension of course this time time we can have the... weekly data monthly data so the, that yeah people exactly. can filter whatever data they so other than time and product re any dimensions that you can think of that can play an important role uh the the regions i can include like uh, majority of sales in which region is happening or what are what are the areas or what are the different locations where we we, we can expand or we can you know get a good business out of that regions like mm. try to understand mm. the requirement of their customers like what they are looking for and how we can offer them a better if we want to sell something so i'll i'll okay. try to highlight that one also okay all right um okay fine and you mentioned about casting sales and trend right so how will you do that how will you forecast or what order is needed cast it for next quarter yeah uh, in tableau itself uh, in analytics tab uh, i can do the plot the trend line and uh, as part of machine learning also we can do some regression modeling where we can at least try to build some data models to showcase that trend line okay you worked on any regression model for project in a course or uh, at work as a part of learning i have done some scratch project like i am not very familiar with that but uh, mm-hmm. in nutshell what i understand is we use the two different variable like depends upon the correlation factor we a uh, dependent and independent variable we pick up depends on uh, the mm. requirement and we try to identify the relation like if we make certain changes into the independent variable then how it is going to make impact in future like we can at least predict something so that mm. kind of uh, understanding so i do have so if you want to predict if you want to predict sales mm-hmm. of next quarter what is your dependent variable and what are your independent variables so if i want to predict the sales like i will try to uh, check the cost of the product as a uh, no but 
what is the dependent variable and what is independent variable in this case so independent variable would be the uh, uh, discount part or the mm -hmm. uh, total uh, i will try to take uh, look through the data basically so as a okay. per my understanding like the in customer looks for the their profit like the first thing like mm. how much discount they are getting on that particular products or how much money they can save on that particular product so that mm. part would be i will take it as a, a independent and dependent will be the cost of that particular product so if we increase the discount then how much the cost will impact and how how frequently that product can be sell sold like something like that Hmm. Hmm. But uh, to be honest, okay. like I am not very familiar with building model, but if definitely if, if I got chance, I will try to enhance or brush up that skill also. Okay, all right. Uh, other than SQL, what tools have you used? Uh, not specifically. I mostly worked on the uh, MS Excel, SQL, and Tableau as per my current project. Okay. Okay. And can you rate yourself on these on a scale of ten? Uh, eight would be the in SQL and in Tableau. Uh huh. And in Excel okay. also, I can prepare the ad hoc report. So, but I am not familiar with the VBA part, so I will rate like seven in Excel. Okay. And uh, have you used of PowerPoint? Yeah, PowerPoint presentation I have done. Yes. Okay. All right, and uh, can you also explain how has so you have been working in Zensor for over three years, right? Yeah. yeah. How has your role evolved uh, within the company? What were you doing initially, and how has that improved or grown yeah. now? Yeah, I would like to give some background. Like in when I was working in Tata Communications, so I I was very good handling Microsoft Excel file to prepare the daily weekly reports. So hmm. I had done the online course like uh, Microsoft Excel for the data analysis and tried experimenting hmm. on that. So based on hmm. that, I got shortlisted in Zensar. Initially, they had requirement for the person who can you know, handle the Excel file and prepare the ad hoc report and do some maths and just handle the customers. Hmm. So initially, hmm. I got very basic role, and uh, later on. When I entered into the data analytics field, I started learning the Tableau and the SQL. So that two hmm. skills were not part of my role, but I learned it, and I sh this I shared with my manager. Like I have learned the SQL and Tableau. So if you have any position who needs some sort of no requirement for this skill, then you can consider me. So that's that's how I got my uh, second project to work on the data pi pipelining, where I had to write the SQL queries. to share the relevant data mm. to the it team so it was a pilot mm. project but i got good exposure and good hands on on that sql query and later on i learned the tableau tableau dashboarding so i used to sit with the senior who used to work on tableau dashboard development kind of work he used to do so in my free mm. time i used to sit near him and just i try to learn something out of it so uh, slowly slowly i got chance to work with him and uh, i started building a tableau dashboard to support his work so like that i started hmm. learning and uh, i got another project where i specifically had to work on tableau dashboards to prepare ad hoc report and to share with the different stakeholders so, hmm. so this is how i learned okay all right uh now coming to your professional goals for two years what is it that you want to be doing what kind of work do you look forward to? like i'm looking specifically to enhance myself into more technical part in the data science field like i want to learn the machine learning and different data models how it works and in next 3 or 4 year like i want to uh, achieve uh, any certain position in data science field where i can at least learn and do some data modeling work okay all right and uh Where are you located right now? I am in Pune. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it from my end. Then, mm -hmm. uh, any questions for me? Uh, like.
for this specific role i just gone through the uh, job description now the majority of tasks mm-hmm. are more related to the so uh, can you help me like what was the title or designation of that uh, job description uh, it was the analytics consultant but uh, when i okay. actually looked into the job description it was more likely to the person who is more familiar with the data modeling and the regression models so mm-hmm. if it is a learning opportunity so it is if if i got then i can learn that and do something but i wanted to understand the exact expectation from this hmm okay uh so yeah one is that uh, we work with uh, international clients mm-hmm. uh, and the kind of work that we have again is varied but uh, the job format would be that we understand the client requirements uh, we get access to the required data mm-hmm. and we mostly work in uh, with remote access to client data so basically within client environment so whatever tools they are using we have to use those tools um, and yeah uh, after data preparation or whatever data modeling or predictive modeling whatever is the output that we share back with client depending on the analysis that we do so yeah the expectation of the role is that you are able to work independently on the end to end process got it so so, so is it required to build e uh, models independent independently or uh no not really so analytics consultant is not heavy on data science specifically because we have a different data science team mm-hmm. so analytics consultant is more about uh, how we can give a client insight based on their data got so it. like you are mentioning right some of the discounts uh if we have to st- study their sales pattern for example we can give them recommendation on <laughs> these products are working these are not working so th- you can give discounts on these products and so on so any insights that we can find based on the data got it got it okay all right uh and what about your notice period or have you already resigned uh not resigned yet it is 30 days but uh, if i got offer then i can negotiate with my manager max to max 10 days she can give me the release <laughs> in 10 days i oh, know it 10 days it negotiable i have to serve 20 days minimum okay okay all right okay fine uh that's it from my end then okay. any other questions uh no for now i will wait for the feedback and uh, definitely if uh, oh. there is something that i need to work on you can share in feedback like in particular area if i need to work yeah sure So uh, Kanchan will get back to you. Sure, sure, definitely. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks, Priyanka. Bye.